Hey guys, welcome to the episode. Today, we're doing another used cars for sale vid here in Okinawa, Japan. I know you guys are big fans of these. I got a lot of nice cars lined up, so stay tuned. I wanna kick this video off with a place called Music Lab. For those that have been with the channel for a long time, you guys might remember me featuring a very, very unique car here. And no, I'm not talking about the MGs sitting here. But we are in the Evo today, and I'm not talking about these either. Way down here at the end, I featured this R33 GTR. At the time, it was the budget GTR. This car has been sitting out here ever since I got here in Okinawa, Japan. I've been here for coming up on three years now, and this car has not moved. I featured it maybe a year, year and a half ago, and at the time, they had it for sale. So it was featured in a uh, used cars for sale vid. I think at the time, they were asking like 1,200,000 yen or 1,400,000 yen. It was roughly 12,000 US dollars, and I'm talking a year and a half ago. So the prices of the R33 GTRs were going up at the time, and I'm pretty sure it's probably the cheapest R33 you could find on the market. And after I featured this car, maybe a week or two later, the uh, the price sign in the window has been removed. But this car has not moved. It is still sitting here. So I just wanted to do a follow-up for those. I've actually had a few people ask me about the budget GTR, and I wanted to come show you guys the car in its current state and see how much it's deteriorated. But it's sitting right here, and I've been meaning to come in here and actually like kind of get the scoop on this car, and I'm gonna have to do it one of these days. I'm gonna have to come in here and see what they plan on doing with the car, because it's been sitting out here. And look at the bushes. The brake rotors are completely rusted. I like this sticker right here, this is pretty funny. I'm pretty sure the battery is dead. So inside, it doesn't look bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's got an aftermarket steering wheel. It's got an old school Apexy boost gauge, which is really cool. It's got three gauges right here. Aftermarket wheels. A carbon wrapped hood, aftermarket hood. So it does have a plate on it. Obviously it was a registered vehicle out here, but usually in JDM vehicles right up here, see if I can find one as an example for you guys. This MG has got a bunch of parts in it, but right here you see the sticker in the top window. That is the JCI sticker. And this one does not have a JCI sticker, so it has not been driven in a long time. Like I said, three years I've been out here and this thing has not moved and it kills me, absolutely kills me. And I think last time I featured the video, a lot of people were like, oh, that's not a real GTR. No, it's definitely a GTR. It's got the wide rear fenders, GTR spoiler, GTR badging, GTR gauge cluster, GTR seats. It's definitely a GTR, boys. It's got the Brembo brakes. It has iHeart GTR stickers all over it. Obviously, it's a GTR. I don't know. If this car was for sale right now, for let's say $14,000, would you guys jump on it? I mean, there's a lot of money that would need to go into it to get it in you know, somewhat decent condition, but if, if it is running, it would definitely be a steal. And I'm surprised nobody jumped on it because I don't know if you guys have been keeping an eye on the R33 market, but the prices of these cars are skyrocketing for very good reason. I just wish I would have never sold mine, but who knows, maybe this car will be for sale in the near future. I'll keep my eye on it. I drive by here a lot. And if I do see a for sale sign, I'll definitely get the information for you guys. A lot of people ask me about this car, and I just want to come touch base with it. But here it is, budget GTR. I'll see you sometime soon. I'll keep my eye on you, don't worry. And then they got a bunch of MGs out here. Super strange, because I don't ever see any of these cars out here on this island, but they've got three. There's one there, it's in decent shape. And then these two, they've been sitting over here on blocks forever. I don't know what the plan is. I really wish I knew. I'll come down one of these days when they're open and uh, talk to them, see if I can get some information because I'm really intrigued. This GTR, anybody that lives around here, they know exactly what GTR I'm talking about. This thing is just sitting here right off the main road. Look at all the cars driving by it. I don't know if it's out there just to like bring attention and have people come check it out. Who knows? Who knows? You guys got a good story about this car. If you can make one up. Let me know in the comments down below. But we're gonna get in the Evo and go find some cars that are for sale. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're at my favorite spot to film out here, Dream Run. They've been killing it lately with a high turnover of nice JDM rides. And I did a video here maybe a month ago and they've got some new vehicles in stock. So 
Got to come check them out, so we'll see what they got. And check out the lineup. Oh yeah, and they got some in the back as well. So we'll go ahead and kick it off with the Z33. They're asking 850,000 yen, which is about 8,000 US dollars. But in previous Dream Run videos, we know that the price in the window right here does not include the JCI. So then we look up here a little bit closer and then you'll see the price with that two year inspection. So 970,000 yen, about $9,200, 125,000 kilometers. This is a 2003. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Check out the Recaro on the inside. Momo steering wheel. It is manual and it does have a sound system I can see in the back. D badge in the rear, aftermarket exhaust, gold badging. It's got a nice spoiler. Nice looking Z car, it's got the factory wheels. I don't know what the current market prices are for these back in the States. Seems to be a fair price. I mean, 123,000 kilometers. It's about 70 to 80,000 miles on a 2003. So decent, decent kilometers for the year. And then next to it we have, I believe I featured this car in the previous video. Maybe, maybe not, it might be a different one. 1,450,000 yen. I think this one is different because I think the previous one that I featured had a sunroof but it is a white Toyota Soar with the one Jay-Z asking 1,450,000 yen, 14,000 US dollars, but with that inspection, 1,570,000 yen, 167,000 kilometers, so just over 100,000 miles. See some aftermarket wheels. The paint looks really nice. I don't know if the camera is showing how nice the paint is. Really good clear coat. Definitely is sitting on either some springs or aftermarket coilovers. It is manual. It's got some gauges. Clean looking car. Manual soar. That's the way to go right here. And we got a JZX100 Toyota Chaser in white, 1,390,000 yen, 13,000 US dollars. It's got a sunroof. And with the JCI, 1,570,000 yen, this is a 1999, meaning it'll be eligible to go back to the States in 2024. Looks like it's sitting on some ABS wheels. The paint on this one is actually pretty nice too. Super, super clean. D-badged all around. Big catback exhaust. And we know how good the 1JZ sounds. If you've never heard of 1JZ in person, go find you a, uh, a Chaser or a Soar or even a Mark III Supra. Something with a 1JZ with an exhaust. You guys will know what I'm talking about. And then over here we have a 2001 Nissan Skyline. Five-speed turbo. This is a four-door GTT, 1,290,000 yen. I believe I featured this one in the previous video. I'm pretty sure I did. Overall, pretty clean looking car. Four doors and a turbo with a JCI, 1,420,000 yen. It does have 206,000 kilometers, but the paint, the color on it's really nice. I'm really digging the color on it. It's almost like a blue or a teal. Very clean. And then we've got a S14. I believe I featured this one as well. 1,090,000 yen. With the JCI, 1,220,000 yen. This is a Nissan Silvia Q's edition, Queen's edition. So it has the SR20 DE, non-turbo, but it is a five speed. And it's got the kooky front. Really nice, this is a 97. Overall, the body's in phenomenal shape. Factory wheels. Definitely a good car. You could always throw a SR20 DET in it. And then we have another Nissan Silvia S14. Aftermarket front bumper in black. Super, super clean. The paint on this is phenomenal. 
Look at the shine on that. Aftermarket wheels. Sitting on some rays. And these are 225, 40, 18, so some 18 inch rays. 1,250,000 yen, or that JCI, 1,370,000 yen, so about 13,000 US dollars. And it does have a sunroof on it. 187,000 kilometers, so about 110,000 miles. Aftermarket exhaust. Beautiful car. Look at the shine on that. I know the camera's picking that up. This thing is glossy. Not a whole lot of info on it though, so I don't know if it is turbocharged. It is manual. I'm gonna go ahead and take a stab and say it's a Queen's model as well, just by that price. I mean, it looks super, super clean. If I had an SR20 DET, it would definitely be 14, 15K plus. But really, really, really clean looking car. And then next to it, the car I really wanted to check out, Evo Gang. I love seeing Evos for sale out here. This is a Evo 5 GSR. We'll spend a little extra time on this one. JDM legend right here, boys. 1,490,000 yen. I don't have the price for you guys with the two-year JCI, but historically, looking at the other cars, we can tack on maybe a thousand extra dollars. So you're looking at 14.5 a JCI. This car is going to be about 15.5 plus or minus maybe a few hundred dollars. Now I will say the current market prices on the Evo fives aren't that high unless it's super, super clean and it's got really low mileage. Just looking at it from the outside, it is super clean. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the cleanest Evos I've seen on island, maybe in person, but we'll dive a little bit deeper into it. I love the two-tone black right here. It looks so aggressive in the back. Rally art mud flaps, good for a solid 20 horsepower. I wish I can find some rally art mud flaps for my Evo, I'm not gonna lie. Just so hard to find parts for the, uh, the Evo one through three. Man, look at this thing. Two-tone black on the spoiler. Kinda having flashbacks for my Evo four days. Factory OZ F1 racing wheels. Same wheels I had on my Evo 4, these are the factory wheels. And the Evo 5 came with factory Brembo's, unlike the Evo 4. That was a, probably like one of the biggest upgrades for me, going from the 4 to the 5. Let's take a look underneath. Just a little bit of surface rust. Factory exhaust. Just a little bit of surface rust on the exhaust, nothing major. But the body line's really nice. I don't see any dents. Go ahead and take a look inside. This thing is fully, fully factory. Factory Momo wheel, factory shift knob, factory Recaros. Same Recaros I had my four. And they are clean, no rips, no tears. I don't know, this car might be worth the price. It's got the original Mitsubishi uh, manual cover in there. The gauge is digital, so you can't see the kilometers until the car is turned on, so I don't have the mileage on it. But I would imagine it's fairly low. The only thing that I, I, I see needing a little bit of attention, the Brembos could use a paint job. But I mean, the tires have good tread. And the factory steering wheel has a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing that 
a steering wheel cover couldn't cover up. Beautiful car. Let's take a look up close up front. A little bit of surface rust right there. But hey, we're talking this car, 98, 99. So we're looking at 21, 22 years old. Incredible condition, I'm not gonna lie. All right, enough about the Evo. Comment below, let me know if you guys would pay 15K for Evo 5. It's not gonna be eligible to go back to the States for another three to four years. But if you're getting here in Okinawa and you wanna get your hands on an Evo, Maybe it's an option. I know you can find them cheaper online, uh, you know, maybe in mainland, but the prices of these cars, I guarantee you're gonna go up. Guarantee it. Give it three, four years, you're not gonna be able to find an Evo 5 in this condition for this price. Let's see what else I got out here. Hey, speaking of Mark III, and then a Sylvia S15 back here. I don't see any information on it, and it does have a plate and JCI. Might be somebody's personal car, but very, very nice. Spec R, two-tone, Advan racing wheels. And then check out back here, another Mark III. I love the Mark III. And then check out these Land Cruisers. Dream Run has been coming through. I feel like every time I drive by here every few weeks, they've got a new lineup out front, and I love it. I love it, and I know you guys do too. So this Mark III, it is a twin turbo, and it's got 135,000 kilometers, fairly low kilometers asking 1,620,000 yen, so about 15,000, 15,500. I do see a few imperfections right off the bat though. A little bit here, the weather seals aren't in the best condition. Hey, but it's a Supra, right? The tin's peeling a little bit right there. But this is really cool. I do like that a lot. Where'd the windshield wipers go? Maybe this is a uh, aero package. <laughs> so you're not gonna pass JCI without the wipers. So with that JCI price, they should be taking care of everything. Meaning if it doesn't have windshield wipers, they're gonna get windshield wipers for you. And a little bit of bubbling in the paint right here. Other than that, clean car. Price might be a little high on it for me. And we got a Hilux here. This Chevy Silverado is still sitting out here. This was out here last time, and I was like, who's gonna buy this car? Who's gonna buy a Silverado in Japan? It's the most ridiculous thing out here. But hey, when a uh, lifted truck is life, you can come get one at Dream Run. 3,390,000 yen, about 32,000 US dollars. Good luck with gas, and good luck driving it off base. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Some other SUVs out here. And then I'm gonna feature this car one more time. I really think somebody should come pick this car up. This is a Toyota Crown Estate. This is pretty much like Toyota Stagia. Yeah. This has a 1JZ in it. It's got a sunroof. It's got low kilometers. It's got a lot of room. This thing is awesome. If, if I was looking for a family car or a station wagon, this would be the one right here. This is a 2000, so it'll be eligible to go back to the States in 2025. They're asking 590,000 yen, so like 5,500 US dollars, or the JCI, 720,000 yen, so like $6,800. Everybody geeks out over the Stagias because they have RB26s in them, but Stagias are like three times what these are going for. All right, guys, we're gonna get back in the Evo. I'm gonna head to the next spot. Bear with me, I know I said there's a lot of cars. I got a few more to feature, stay tuned. Yeah, 1997 Subaru. WRX, wagon baby, five speed, ooh, five speed STI. And they're asking 11,995 US dollars. Let's check this thing out. So my Subi guys out there know way more about Subarus than I do. Did they make an STI GC8 wagon? It says WRX and Preza STI right here. Or is it just like a STI trim? I don't know. But hey, four doors. I'm really digging the double spoiler. 
Overall in decent condition, a little bit of the clear coat is fading on the spoilers. Funny on both of them actually. But other than that, I mean really, really good looking car. The interior on this looks really, really nice. STI seats. STI steering wheel. The shift knob has some red stitching in it. STI gauge cluster. Very cool. Very, very cool. So it's a 97, meaning it'll be eligible to go back to the States in 2022. So right around the corner. So if you're getting here in Okinawa and you want to get in the Subi Gang, come get yourself a four-door wagon. This thing is sweet. And the park next to it, I featured this dealership a little while back and they had a GC8 and one of these out here as well, a different one. And uh, I was really caught off guard because I thought it was a Lancer Rally Art, but here in Japan, it is a Mitsubishi Galant Rally Art. This thing is all-wheel drive, it is turbocharged. And this is a 2011, asking 9,995 US dollars. I'm really feeling the color on it, I like it in blue. Spoiler's nice. Yeah, it's the Galant Fortis. Dual exhaust, it's got the Rally Art badge from the factory. So if you want an Evo 10, but you don't have the Evo 10 money, but you want to get yourself a Lancer, or in this case a Galant, you want something with all-wheel drive that is still turbocharged, definitely a great option. I mean, look at the hood on it. Pretty much an Evo 10's baby brother. And I believe these have the automatic, yep, twin clutch SST transmissions with the flappy shifters. So if you don't want to be slamming gears and you want something that's a little sporty, definitely, definitely come check this car out. And then parked next to it is a 2005 Super Forcer Cross Sports, 5,995 US dollars. Japan just had so many freaking cool cars back in the day that we never got in America. This one's in really, really good condition. I believe it's NA though. And then over here, we got the Delica, the Pajero, and the 350. I'll link the previous video down in the description below from last time I was out here if you want to check out these cars, including the Miata and some of the other cars in the other lot but I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here. I mainly wanted to come check this out and this out. Cause obviously there's the Lancer, Impreza, WRX rivalry. A little bit of new school, a little bit of old school. But between the two, I would have to go with the GC8. I'm really, really digging it. Black with the gold wheels. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite car of the video was and why I wanna know. Also, please go check me out on Instagram at Captain26 for more JDM car content. I'm posting a lot more on there. So if you guys wanna see more between vids, I highly recommend heading over to Instagram, hitting that follow button. I appreciate it, I'll follow back, I promise. That being said, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Later.